Hello, thanks for joining me on Life and Surround. It's time for another thrilling installment of Surround Album News. Let's start off with albums that are available right now. There's a band called Carseus, which uh, from my understanding began life as sort of a jazzy, instrumental, proggy type of jam band and they have now recruited uh, an, an excellent vocalist and are focusing more on vocal songs. This is an album called Live in France and it comes with a 5.1 uh, mix of their latest album, The Fold. Now there is a lossy technical issue with this Blu-ray and the band um, say that they've worked that out and their subsequent offerings will be fully lossless. But when I put this concert on and also listened to the album, I was not uh, disappointed by the sound quality. I think they've done a really excellent job. The concert is a lot of fun to watch, particularly the keyboard player. And uh, the album is pretty good too, though I like the concert a bit better. So on the whole, I recommend checking out Carseus Live in France. Uh, you can get that from their Bandcamp page and I will link that. Also um, available to at least audition to see if you like the music, we have Anna Toll, Into the Black Hole. She has sort of an electronic um, R&B, um, sometimes verging into kind of a rap thing going on and uh, I like a lot of her material. Into the Black Hole is the latest, and it does have a great, aggressive 5.1 mix. You can get that from Immersive Audio Album, but again, like I said, if you want to just check out the music to see if it's for you, you can check out her Bandcamp page, and I will link that below. All right, moving on to albums that you currently can pre-order. We have The Rolling Stones, Goat's Head Soup. This is not only a pretty solid album, but it is the first entire Rolling Stones album to get the surround treatment, so I'm super excited about that. Up till now, you could only get the Sympathy for the Devil EP on SACD, and you do get the Rolling Stones original track mixed in very discreet 5.1, but then every other track is also Sympathy for the Devil uh, remixes from various producers, and it is a very cool Super Audio CD, but I would love the entire album, and so I hope that Goat's Head Soup is just one of many entire Rolling Stones albums to be headed our way in Surround. It's going to feature a 5.1 and Atmos mix, so I'm super excited about it. You can pre-order it right now. Uh, my vendor of choice is Import CDs because it keeps the cost down, and I will link that below. Also available at this time for pre-order, we have Devin Townsend, Empath. Now, musically, this album is all over the place. It is ridiculously all over the place. Um, I'm not sure that I can exactly handle how eclectic it is, but I have a buddy who is absolutely in love with this album, so I'm picking it up so that after this COVID lockdown time period is over with, I can have him over and we're going to blast Empath together. Also available for pre-order, you have The Pineapple Thief, Versions of the Truth. Uh, a couple of singles are already out. Uh, I like them quite a lot. This continues to be the lineup of the band with uh, Gavin Harrison. And as before, you get the entire album mixed by Bruce Sword in Lossless 5.1. But you also get quite a few of the tracks mixed in an alternate style, like with Gavin on like alternate percussion. Bruce also has once again given us the option of a standalone Blu-ray, which substantially brings the cost down for those who just want to listen to the surround material. I'm in for the deluxe uh, because I think Bruce is an amazing guy and I want to support him to the fullest and also get engaged in the album to the fullest. And rounding out our pre-order section for surround album news today, we have Fish. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this album. It is available at this time from his website. I hope that uh, the album will see a U.S. distributor because it is very pricey. 
to get this thing. It would be great if a standalone Blu-ray were offered. Uh, that doesn't tend to be the MO from this label, so it is probably going to be deluxe or nothing, and let's just hope that the cost comes down. I've heard from Avril McIntosh that she predicts I'm going to like this 5.1 mix, that the album lends itself to surround, and uh, the production team are pretty happy with it. I really like the uh, song that's been released so far, and so I will link information for pre-ordering the album and that video below. In the coming soon realm of things, we have Aeolian. This is Ian O'Doherty, a very cool guy who's been involved in the Ian Cook Band and in Up Hollow and just a lot of music projects out of Colorado. And we're getting a five album, like a 52 track concept journey mixed in 5.1. Ian is very good at surround mixing and, in my opinion, interesting musically as well, so I'm definitely looking forward to these Aeolian Surround releases. You're going to be able to check out the albums on Bandcamp and probably download the Surround from surroundmusic.one. So I will link surroundmusic.one below and hopefully eventually the Aeolian albums will appear. Also coming soon, we should be able to expect the next Marillion album being Fugazi. Not exactly sure when. Uh, it seems that the focus is on the Fish solo record at this time. But sometime in the not too distant future, we can anticipate Marillion Fugazi. Reliable sources say we're awfully close to finally getting the Doobie Brothers Quadio box from Rhino. They apparently have filmed an unboxing and should be making that public sometime awfully soon. So there are no links to go and pre-order yet, and um, I'm not going to get my hopes up completely high, but like I said, reliable sources say that this product is a go. Four albums from the Doobie Brothers on Blu-ray, Lossless, Quad, and Stereo as well. We should also be able to anticipate another Alan Parsons Project deluxe treatment of a classic album, and usually he has offered a standalone Blu-ray, I believe, every time so far. The last one was Ammonia Avenue, and um, I think I've heard some speculation that the next one might be Pyramid or iRobot. I just can't recall right this second, but we can anticipate more Alan Parsons Project classic albums mixed and surround by Parsons himself, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then moving way more into speculative territory, can we anticipate another Beatles Deluxe? Like, Let It Be, the movie, newly cut by Peter Jackson, is supposed to be coming out sometime, and are they going to have the album mixed in surround as an accompaniment? Will it be just Let It Be, or will it also have Let It Be Naked? Are we going to get any more Jethro Tull in surround? Preferably mixed by Stephen Wilson, I've heard indication that he may be interested in mixing A and Broadsword, and that would be incredible. How much more Atmos are we going to get from Tidal? And are they going to fix their negative 20 dB volume issue? And are they ever going to increase the bandwidth offered? The Atmos over Tidal is heavily compressed. It makes use of Dolby Digital Plus. And even given that transport mode, they could use a much higher bandwidth than they are. Now, when I sit down and just simply listen to Atmos offerings on Tidal, it sounds okay to me but it is lacking definition that a Blu-ray can offer. For instance, I can compare REM's Automatic for the People, I can compare Kraftwerk's catalog work, and the title Atmos just isn't quite as defined. So up that bandwidth title and fix the volume issue, please, if you want people to continue paying for monthly subscriptions. And then, not quite speculative, but it got pushed way, way out. We have Stephen Wilson's The Future Bites, on Blu-ray, should have a 5.1 mix and Atmos. Now, right now, the present bites. <laughs> and part of that is that um, he's delayed his album. Bruce Sword with The Pineapple Thief is raging ahead with his, and Stephen Wilson delays his. So that's a bit of a bummer, uh, but he wants like a full production tour to go along with the album release, plus uh, full production videos and stuff, and he cares about his artwork, and I totally get that. So hopefully it's going to be well worth the wait. 
For me, musically, Stephen Wilson peaked a few albums back, and each subsequent album has been an experience of diminishing returns. But you may love the pop direction that he's headed in. I really don't like the latest single. But as with To The Bone, as I gave it a chance, it really grew on me, and I really do like To The Bone. Just not as much as Hand Cannot Erase, and definitely not as much as The Raven That Refused To Sing. But in any case, that has been pushed out into 2021, along with um, possibly his work on some Gentle Giant albums. I think that's also looking like 2021. So that's all for now. I hope that that is some exciting news for you. I doubtless missed something that you are excited about, so please uh, tell us all about that in the comments below. And like I said, I will leave links uh, to investigate these albums further, to pre-order if that's available, to purchase if that's available. And in this time of continued pandemic lockdown, I hope that music is bringing all of you some enjoyment and some solace. It sure is for me. And the togetherness that this channel can help bring I always look forward to seeing your comments. Uh, if you like what I do and you haven't already, subscribe, ring the notification bell, like the video, leave comments, share the video. I sure appreciate any support. And until next time, live life in surround.